Hi there, this is Coach Sean here from Learning Out of the Box and thanks so much for watching. Okay, today we are going through one of the questions that one of our LB kids ask us, uh, even though after PSLE is already over. Yeah, so I'm doing this video for him. So if you have watched it and you like what you have watched and you have learned something from it, feel free to share it with your friends who are going to take PSLE next year. Okay, here goes. Okay. All right. Okay, so in this question, we are going to talk about there were some brown and green bits in a box. The green bits was, sorry, the green bits were 40% of the total number of bits. Okay. So let me follow the process of KCNSU, keyword, concept, numbers, statements, and units. Okay. KCNSU. This is our LOB five step technique that can help guide children to solve any questions. Okay. Okay. So, um, Actually, I'm doing this from home and my kids are, ha are having HBL now. So if you can hear any background noise, um, it's a special effect that I have added. All right, okay. So now when you see keywords and if a child is, comes to you and say, Mama, Papa, I don't know how to solve this. What you can do is get them to build up the good habit of highlighting keywords or underlining them. So, okay, so there were some brown and green bits. Okay, so the green bits were 40% of the total number of bits. And in this case, this is just uh, brown and green, okay? Then we have some yellow bits added, okay, double line to show the change. And in fact, change is really important to be highlighted because when there's a change, then your there's something to solve. Yeah, so the number of green bits is now. Girls, can you lower down the volume, please? 26% of the total number of bits. Okay? Okay, so now, this is definitely a percentage question. But again, if your child's understanding is just there, you're, you're going to find many of the problem sums very tough because um, when you don't tackle it as a problem sum type, we are going to see every question with percentage as a percentage question and not a problem sum type question with already uh, which already comes with a proven solution. Okay, so now, when we look at keywords, we get a primary five and six in LOB to highlight the numbers and keywords together. Then the next thing that they must remember is, okay, so what's the concept? Okay, now, can you see that in this case, I have created here change, which tells me that this is a change. And in fact, it's something that is new being added in. And the original colors are brown and green. Okay. So, meaning that what we can do is we just look at brown and green. And then next we add yellow, which means that this stays the same. Okay, now let me give you a clue. Give you three choices. There are three same concepts. One is same one. One is same difference. And one is same total. Which concept does this fall under? Okay, if you ask your child and your child is giving you that kind of blanks there, you know that you need help. 
to tackle this, to at least be aware that there are concepts. Okay, difference. When you see the, when, if you want to deduce that it's same difference, remember Ko John told, told you before, the change must be equal. The change must be equal. And when you look at the change, is it equal? It's not right, so it's that wrong. Same total is when you have internal transfer. Okay, internal transfer. Which is like, for example, um, I give to you, you give to me. For example, um, today your mommy take away. No, sorry. Um, can I say A and B? A pass her homework to B. So the total within, the total with both of them inside stays the same. The other one is two boys left the room, two girls entered the room. Okay, so somehow this cancel off each other and the total stays the same. And this is not same total, so it's wrong. And we only have left with same one. And in this case, B and G, even though they are two different objects, different color bits, same object but different colors, this identity still stay the same. Okay, so it falls under same one. Okay, so what do we do when we have deduced or recognized that this is one unchanged or same one? Again, a disclaimer, I am not NIE trained, uh, not taught any official methods. I'm just like you and other busy parents who still choose to take out my limited time to teach my children maths at home. And I realized that as I teach more children and parents, I realized that we do not have the kind of luxury uh, that trained educators have. Um, but I think the heart is still there. We want to help our children. So I'm putting what I have created out there. Uh, all these methods have been shared with thousands of parents and children and they work. And I just want to make sure that um, this video reaches you to help you to be a better teacher for your mom, uh, for your mom, sorry, a teacher for your kid, okay? Okay, so now this concept will be under same one. Okay, same one. Yeah, sometimes when my kids are at home, I get distracted. Okay, not sure if you can feel the same way. Okay, and when you realize that it's a concept, you have to change the Okay, the next thing you must do uh, is to quickly change your percentage to fraction. Yeah, this is the like by default model. Yeah, so which means that it's really important for your child to learn the problem sum type solution. If not, can you imagine your child will look at this and then tell you, mommy, I'm going to solve it using percentage and I have no idea what to do next. And if you know that this is the same one concept, because you need to recognize the problem sum type. And then the next thing that you must do is to change the percentage to fraction, okay? So these are some of the tricks that I think um, all parents should know. It doesn't matter whether you are trained or not, but I think as parents, we should know all this because we want to uh, provide some simple hacks for our children to do well and be confident in dealing with such math questions, even though that they see them as hard. Okay, so now let's start. Okay, so sentence one, <coughs> sorry. We have B and then we have G. So draw your BCA table. <coughs> My apologies. Okay, so we have a B4. Um, 40%, which means that this B and G is actually 100% or five units. So we have two is to three. Okay. Then the change, right? The change, just follow the Sorry. Yeah, teach too much. Um, 
Okay, so we have the yellow bits, right? Okay, at a something. Okay, then we have the after. Okay, so the green bits is now 26% of the total. So the total now we have uh, is B, G, Y, and your total is 100% now. And then this one stays the same, which is 26%. And this is the same, one unchanged. This is also one unchanged. And you realize that right now I didn't solve anything yet. I'm just changing them to, to some, to a table form, to a BCA table. Okay. Okay. So can you see that the values in the yellow box, at least for the B and G should stay the same <clears throat> because you understood that it's one unchanged, right? So <clears throat> that means this and this must be made the same. Okay, made same. That means here we have times 13. That's 26%. So now it's the solving part. So let me label this as step one. And you know that for step two, this stays the same as well. So it's times 13. There'll be 36. Am I right? 30. Okay. So, Oana, green beats. Okay, did you realize that I made a mistake here? Okay, so the mistake made here is Okay, so what happens if you make a mistake? Okay, so quickly go and change it, okay? Okay, the green bits were 40% of the total. Okay. Okay, so I did something wrong here. Okay, so if your child also make a similar experience here, just change what is required. There's no need to erase the whole thing. All right, so we have two is to three here. Okay, so this is times 13 and this is 39%. Yeah, so distracted Yeah, kids talking next to me. Okay, never mind. Okay, so now, okay. Okay, what? We have here, okay, so let's do a quick check uh, before we move on. Yeah, so this is the indication that you need to do a quick check before you move on. Yeah, so let's do this again. Okay, two over five. Okay, so if you are not very sure, this two, when you change the fraction, you link to G, and then five, you link to, you link to B and G, okay, B and G. Can? So let's do a quick check. BG is 5, G is 2, B is 3. Okay, then the green bits is now 26%. This is all correct and it's given. So we make them the same. So times 13. Okay, times 13 as well, 39%. So in this case, you know that if you draw a model, you draw a model, you have B. G, Y, you have 39%, you have 26%. So for Y, you have 100% minus of 39 and minus of 26%. Okay, so, okay, I don't have my calculator with me. So I'm going to do everything from scratch. Yes, okay. Okay, so this is 35%. Okay, so in this case, your percentage of yellow bits is actually 35%. Okay. Okay, so 
right now, let's do a recap. Huh? Okay. First thing, let's not try to dive in and try to solve the question, shall we? I think the first thing that we must do is really to understand the question, change, try to change as much information as possible into table form, into model form. That's why it's very important to do models or table and don't let anyone tell you that model drawing is not important. Okay, so next we have Okay, so next. We have brown and green. So let's put this in first. Then when you recognize that it's one unchanged or same one, you quickly change the percentage to fraction. So all these are like by default. Nah. Yeah, that means you know that you must do. Yeah, so if your child is like stuck, not sure what to do, uh, ask yourself if your child is trained like that. Yeah, I mean, this is something that works for me, my kid, and many other parents who have used the same method and their children did very well. Yep. Uh, after learning this technique from me. Okay. Then some yellow bits added. Okay. So recognizing that this is actually 100%. Okay. And then this is another new 100%. So, okay. Another thing that some children may get stuck is they may not be very sure which is the 100%. Yeah, or why, why, why is that? Why are there 200% here? Okay. Then later, you follow, added, okay, added, no idea how many. Yeah, just, just follow. Okay, then this is given because it's given here. Again, quickly change it to fraction. And then next, recognizing that it's one unchanged. This is the key part. Okay, this is the key part. Okay, once you are able to execute this, the rest is just maths. Then this is step three. Okay, then you minus off and this is the answer. So I hope that helps.